Hello, we're looking at Philetitate rules, and this is the rule for verbs that start with the following prefixes: be, ge, her, er, und, ver, mis. Um, sometimes I get kids who say the past tense of bell, they try and apply this rule. But remember in the word bell, b is not a prefix because l is not a word on its end. On its own, sorry. So in the case of bell, the past tense is het gebel. Okay, the rule only applies when you are dealing with a prefix. So let's have a look at our examples. Uh, the first one, ek herken die acteur in die winkelcentrum. So ken would be a word on its own, to know. Her means again, so herken means recognize. I recognize the actor in the shopping center. And as we may know already, you make the past tense by adding het and ge to the verb. In the case of the bege, her, er, und, ver, mis rule, you still have the het because that indicates your past tense. Everything else in the sentence stays exactly in the same place, but there is no g. So, ek het oh, die acteur in die winkelcentrum herken. No g with these words. Don't worry if a sentence is very long like this one. You know from Stompy that your verb will be the second element in your sentence. So, vertel. Ek vertel vir my sissie a story om haar aan die slaap te sis. So all this is your infinitive. And remember from Stompy, your verb to comes before the infinitive. So ek het and then everything stays the same. Vir my sissy a story vertel. Make sure you finish with verb to. Again there's no g because you have the fir prefix and then it's your infinitive. Om haar aan die slaap te sis. The infinitive follows after verb 2. If you want to see examples with beginning with the time words, that will be in a separate video.